Hey, how's it going? Today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to create your own video template. So, I just want to, before I start doing the video tutorial, I just want to apologize for a few things. Like, for example, I haven't replied to any video comment for like two months, or I don't know, something like that. I don't know if Chris is doing it, but I know that he's just a fuck up, so you gotta excuse him, guys. <laughs> Anyway, we just need some support from you and that's all we need like you can just click on the like button and subscribe to our channel turn on notifications just complete the video and watch it till the end that's all I gotta do okay so to this video I'm gonna be showing you how to create your own video templates and make them like professional for everyone else to use like for example we might be doing some intros or you might be giving this project to your friend or i don't know and i want him to be to edit that easily so or just need to sell this one to a client or just put it on video hive for people to download it okay so i'm gonna be showing you the professional way of doing it like the first thing last thing i'm gonna do is just pack everything in a zip file and this is just optional so if you want to do it then yes if you don't want to do it then it's just optional there for you to do it so i included this like manual or i don't know license or whatever whatever the fuck i think this is so yeah, it's like thank you for downloading the file that's all and i included like two files so you can just see this video this template here yeah and that's exactly the, the template that i'm gonna be breaking down so i made the steam version of the template and then just uh, a normal version for everyone to use in their youtube channel or i don't know depends like okay let's open this up in after effects and you can see that that this was made by an earlier version of after effects so if you want to sell this one to your client wants to edit that then you can just go to file and then i forgot what, what, where the fuck that is so it's like save as a copy or earlier version of uh, yeah here it is save as and then copy cc 2013 and then from this on you can just open up after effects 2013 and then even like uh, save this one as an after effects cs6 just for other people to access it so if you have they if they do have an ve a very early <laughs> very low after effects okay so and then you can see that i have everything organized in compositions and also in a folder so just like th this folder you won't even need so just put everything in a folder and, and create everything up and for example i made everything accessible for like for example if you click on this background and then go add a file so it's just wait a second so for example if i import this file and then just okay then add it in the background and then go back to this to this render me so you can see that it's just updated automatically and if i want to resize this one and i can just easily do this by clicking s and then resizing and it's gonna fit perfectly okay so yeah that's it so instead of having like if let's say you have a picture here okay let's write this one and then add keyframes to it so in most cases it's going to be working like this and then you have keyframes and position and i don't know maybe like this or this and then you have a lot of effects for example let's add a fill and then it has a color and then let's reduce this fill who gives a fuck anyway so let's pretend this is just an effect and you have like you, if if someone wants is going to edit this one they can just do it or they can just click on this one and then control h and then select a photo but then the sizing is not going to be perfect so an easy way to do this is just to put it in a pre-composition like i just did in the background so everything you're going to do is just place the photo here and then everything else is going to be applied to this photo okay and also if you have like effects like i said the color and you want that to be accessible for everyone so uh, let's just take, take a look at my example so i have this one this layer called controls and it's just empty you can just disable this one and then go to effects and controls so if you don't see it just go to effects and controls for control layer 
okay and then from here on you can see that i have everything every color in the scene accessible just from here so for example if i want to edit this red i can do easily do it okay and then maybe the text text number one and then so you can see it's really easy i don't have to go through all the layers and then change them and then go to this one again and for example if we have my composition just like this it has all the all, a lot of bu a bunch of useless like items like for, for example this one is hidden it's not even visible so why why do you even want to have that in your composition so you can just click on this sh shy the layer okay and then click on this one to not show or just hide the shy layers okay and as i was talking about like for this the control an easy way to do this is just so i have this fill let's just add another solid solid i said okay solid and i have it as like let's say this teal okay and then it's just small or let's add a fill to it or let's not even add a fill so for example if someone wants to edit this color they can just add a fill but an easy way to do this is just if you go to the transform oh the fuck and it, it doesn't have any, any any property you can edit here but if someone has like a fill to it and so if you want everyone to access that from the controls an easy way to do this is just if you click and hold on the alt button and then click on the stopwatch for the color you're gonna see this expression pop up and then just from from here on you can just go to this control and then like uh, right click and just go to the effects and presets and drag in an expression control expression controls any from here on is going to depend on the type of the expression you want to add for example for instance add this color so i'm going to add color control and then pick up this one to the to this one okay so remember we clicked on this this then it was alt left click and then we have this expression and from here on you can just go back to the controls and then find your control then pick with that expression to this color and that's it so you can just easily see okay so let's add this one shy it and again i have all that shy let's go to the controls and i can change the color here so i don't even need to look that up or search for it or anything like that okay and this is like really useful for a lot of cases uh yes and as i said so that's like really use useful okay and another thing you can do is just like yeah that's all you can just add in some expression controls and then make everything easy and put everything in shy them okay and put everything in like photos or videos or anything like that put them in sub and pre-composition so it's gonna be easy and accessible for everyone and that should be it like yeah just make your project organized and for useless things or things you don't want people to mess around with you can just click put them in a folder and then see don't touch or don't edit or whatever you want okay so i really hope that video this video was useful for you and if you liked it then give it a thumbs up and if you disliked it then give it a thumbs down and subscribe to our channel for more see you in the next video peace